Hello everyone, J3 here and welcome to our third and final video in the 5 Pillars of Wealth online seminar series. In the past two videos, we've taken on a lot of essential concepts like how money is important and so should be studied and how wealth is a choice and the choice you make will not only affect you but also the people you care about. Today in this video, we will be taking on the most important concept essential to building wealth and that is pillar number five we will also talk about three critical ingredients for financial progress and then towards the end i'll finally be able to share with you the game of wealth if you have not noticed yet this site is gameofwealthonline.com later you'll finally discover why we have a lot to talk about and I'm very excited for this video. So make sure you don't have any distractions around you. I want you to give your 100% attention so you can get 100% of the lessons as well. So if you're ready, let's get started. The most important pillar of all is pillar number five. And pillar number five is wealth is a process. Wealth can be broken down into specific steps. And when you take those steps, you become more and more wealthy. What this means for you and me is that regardless of what your financial status is right now, you can always, always, always move forward to become more wealthy. Hindi importante kung saan ka galing, ang importante lang ay saan ka papunta. It doesn't matter if you didn't graduate from college or even high school. It doesn't matter if you started out poor in life. It doesn't matter if you come from a broken family. It does not matter if you're not intelligent. It does not matter if you're not attractive. All of those do not matter because anyone can become wealthy as long as they take the right steps. Now, I'm going to go a bit off script here. Initially, hindi dapat ito kasama sa video. Pero it was just so inspiring that I had to include it. As I was making this video, I saw a post on Facebook about a Pinay garbage collector who is now a millionaire. She was featured on ABS-CBN's My Puhunan and it was about Nanay Trining Klimako. She grew up as a garbage collector. She cleaned glass and PET bottles. She removed the worms out of the bottles. She sorted out scrap metal. Literal na basura ang kabuhayan niya. And if we didn't know any better, you'd say that she would be forever poor. But through hard work and determination, she now owns a three-story home fully paid, estimated to be worth 2 million pesos. She was also able to make her eight children finish college. Her youngest is now taking up law. And she has a large junk shop that now earns her more than an average of 15,000 pesos every single week. Nanay Trining Klimako, among many others, is a true testament that anyone can become wealthy, regardless of where they started out in life. All that matters is that they chose to be wealthy and took the right steps. Now, let's get back to our main point that wealth is a process. I'm pretty sure that you're asking already, okay, what's the process for becoming wealthy? Don't worry, we are going to discuss that in a while. After all, it would be extremely cruel of me if I say that wealth is a process but not tell you the process. Huwag ka mag-alala, hindi po ako magpapakipot. But before we go into that, first I need to prepare you to receive the answer. Because what I'm about to show you is a framework to wealth. And so I'd like you to keep the following in your mind. First is that you will see a big picture approach on the steps to becoming wealthy. So the steps you will see are very broad. And moving from one step to the next wouldn't take just a couple of days. It would take months and even years to accomplish. So kung naghahanap ka ng get rich quick na paraan, yung tipong bukas o isang linggo lang, eh bigla ka ng milyonaryo, hindi ito yun. The path to wealth is not a day trip, but it's a journey. It can be a fun and fulfilling one or an endless struggle. Depende yan sa strategy na gagamitin mo. Now, moving from one step to the next, of course, has significant impact to your financial life. So, you'll see the rewards of moving forward as well as the consequences, the penalties of failing to do so. Then, later on, you will also learn what it will take to move from one step to the next until you reach financial freedom and abundance. Okay, so that's about it. Let's get to the process on how to become wealthy. Step zero, the starting point is to aspire to become wealthy. 
akala ng marami, ang unang step ay kumita ng maraming pera. Pero that's not where it begins. Because if in the first place, ayaw ng tao yumaman, ayaw ng tao umasenso, wala talagang mangyayari. May mga tao bang ganun? Yes. Because there are people who think that money is evil. And if you think that money is evil, then of course, you will stay away from money. That's why in the first and second videos, I immediately talked about why money is important, how there is nothing wrong in becoming wealthy, and how wealth is a choice. Those lessons are all about having the right mindset. Kasi pag mali na ang mindset ng tao sa pagyaman, mali na rin ang lahat ng kasunod. And so, if a person fails at step zero to aspire to become wealthy, wealth to him will be determined by luck. He will be highly influenced by the culture around him. Depende na lang sa makakasama niya sa buhay kung siya ba talaga ay magiging mayaman o mananatiling mahirap. Pero siya mismo ay walang kinalaman, walang control sa sarili niyang buhay because he didn't aspire to become wealthy. Now, since you're already watching this video, there's a pretty good chance that your mindset is already in the right place. And so, we move on to step one. Step one is to create value and earn money. This step marks our entrance into the game of wealth. It is at this time that we actually contribute to the world. And in exchange for our time, talents, and skills, we earn money. Now, those who fail to earn money end up as bums and they become a burden on someone else. Those who succeed proceed to the next step. Step two is to manage money. This is making sure that you don't spend more than what you earn. So those who fail at this step move two steps backward and get buried into debt. They will be pushed back into step negative one, okay? Where they will have to get out of bad debt before they can move on. On the other hand, those who succeed in managing their money achieve financial independence. Financial independence is a state where you are no longer dependent on anyone like your parents or relatives for your day-to-day -day expenses. And you move on to the next step. Step three is to prepare for future expenses. May mga malalaking gastusin tayong inaasahan in the future like retirement, education ng mga bata, pambili ng bahay, at iba pa. Meron din naman mga expenses na hindi inaasahan tulad ng pag ikaw ay magkasakit, maaksidente, o masiraan ng kagamitan sa bahay. This step is all about preparing for all those expenses, yung mga predictable at yung mga unpredictable. Those who fail at this step are living life on the edge. They continue to live on paycheck to paycheck and run the risk of working forever when they reach old age kasi hindi ka nga naghanda for your future and so kailangan mo ngayon magtrabaho pagdating ng future. They also run the risk of being buried in debt if something bad happens, they may have to rely on their children for their retirement. And basically, failing at this step is not a pretty picture. Kasi lahat yun will push you several steps backward in the process of wealth. Now, those who succeed achieve what's called financial security. Basically, secure ka na sa future mo, sa future needs mo, sa future expenses mo. Dahil may mga plano ka na, may mga investments ka na, may mga fall back ka na. And you get to move on to the next step. Step four is to build passive income. Passive income is a means of earning money without trading your time for it. So passive income is money that comes automatically to you, kahit nagpabakasyon ka, kahit tulog ka, kahit hindi ka magtrabaho, may income pa rin. That is passive income. Now, those who fail at this stage, well, they are already financially secure. So, there's really no disadvantage with failing here. Basta tumuloy-tuloy lang sa pagtatrabaho at sa pag-iipon at sa pag-iinvest, okay pa rin sila. Their future is already secure. But, those who succeed at this stage will achieve financial freedom. Meaning, they are able to fully detach themselves from money. You are able to fully enjoy life and do what you want without being hindered by time or without being hindered by money. Both time and money will no longer be a problem to getting what you want. Then finally, step five is to bless others. Because the ultimate purpose of wealth is to bless others. Failing at this stage, well, it doesn't really matter because you're already financially free. Pera mo na yan at walang ibang pwedeng magsabi kung paano mo siya gagastusin. However, 
succeeding in this stage means that you have become financially abundant. Meaning majority of your personal wealth is used to help others have more as well. It is at this step that you are truly equipped to make the world a better place to live in. Okay? So there it is. These are the seven steps to financial abundance. Nothing more and nothing less. Before we move on, I'd like to give you the highlights of what you just learned. Take note that each step is actually stated in its simplest form because there are many ways of accomplishing it. Walang sinasabi dyan na kailangan maging gwapo ka, o maganda, o matalino, o nakapagtapos, o pinanganak na mayaman, or dapat ito ang kurso mo. Walang ganun. Lahat kasi ng mga yun ay walang kinalaman sa pagyaman because the path to wealth is wide open. Unfortunately, karamihan ng mga Pinoy ay stuck sa steps 1 to 3 and a few are even stuck in step negative 1, yung mga lubog sa utang, and they never move forward. If you're wondering why, here's the answer. They lack the three ingredients for financial progress. These three ingredients are what it will take for anyone to move from one step to the next. And actually, our ability to get these ingredients have always been there. We have just forgotten its importance. Ulitin ko ah, lahat naman tayo ay may abilidad gawin itong tatlong bagay na ito. Ang problema lang ay nakalimutan na natin ito. I'm sure mas maiintindihan mo ito once I give you the three ingredients. So, let's begin with ingredient number one. Ingredient number one is focus on the goal. While we were still in school, the goal was obvious. Learn and pass the subject. And we were forced to focus on those subjects during class periods. Pag uwi sa bahay, may homework ka pa. And essentially, this was you being forced to focus on the goal. Upon graduation and getting a job, the goal was also obvious. It was set by your company. Kung ano ang hingin ni boss, o kung ano ang nasa job requirements, o kung ano yung mga performance metrics. Yun ang goal. Yun ang kailangan gawin. You were also asked to focus on this goal. Typically, 8 to 5. O mas mahaba pa. For that time period, all you could do was work. So you had a goal and you had focus. But when it comes to money, both of them are missing. First, walang nagsasabi sa'yo kung ano ba ang goal pagdating sa pera. And dahil nga walang goal, wala ring focus. The end result is you and your money will be subject to a lot of distractions. Here is an example of a person without any goals and without any focus. Let's call this person Carlo. Okay? Carlo is just browsing his Facebook and Instagram and he sees a post of a friend taking a vacation in Japan and they are taking their hashtag selfies with the beautiful cherry blossoms. And he comments that the pictures are so nice. And so Carlo thinks that he wants to go to Japan as well. Later that day, Carlo meets up with a friend and she has the latest Samsung Galaxy S whatever and he gives it a try. It's lightweight, very sleek, very classy, and the graphics are just amazing. And ang bilis. And bam! Carlo now wants the phone as well. So now Carlo has two goals. Go to Japan and buy the new phone. And as Carlo catches up with his friend, he finds out that she was able to buy the phone because her stock investments went up. So essentially, libre yung phone kasi interest lang nung investment ang ginamit. Of course, Carlo gets so jealous. And... So, bam! Carlo also now wants to start investing in the stock market. And so Carlo now all of a sudden has three goals. Go to Japan, get the new phone, and start investing in the stock market. Ang daming goals ni Carlo. Lahat gusto niya gawin. At wala siyang focus. Kaya ang pera niya, wala ring focus, wala ring patutunguhan. The late Jim Rohn, an American entrepreneur, author, and motivational speaker, really knew what he was talking about when he said the following. If you don't design your own life plan, Chances are, you'll fall into someone else's plan. And guess what they have planned for you? Not much. Kung wala kang plano sa buhay, mahuhulog ka sa plano ng ibang tao. At hulaan mo kung ano ang plano nila para sa'yo. Wala rin masyado. Imagine that. It's going to be your time, your efforts, and your money. But it's for someone else's gain. This is what is happening today. We are bombarded with advertisements every single second. Ultimately, someone else, the huge corporations, are laying out their plans to get you to buy, to get you to spend your money, to get you to willingly give your money to them. Finally, a condo for you. Ninja Air Shuffle smartphones and being always connected 
only text, only call, only internet, only gastos rin. And if you can't afford it, there's no need to worry because someone will find ways and people can make it easy. All of these advertisements are telling you what you should want and what you should need and they are all telling you what to do with your money. And it will definitely work if you do not have focus on your goals. That is why focus is extremely important. All across the board, itong ingredient na ito. In all the steps, you will need focus. Because this is how you make sure that every second and every peso you spend moves you forward in getting what you really, really want out of life. Okay? Next, ingredient number two is develop key skills. In basketball, kung gusto mo maging magaling, kailangan mo mag-practice in order to develop skills. Passing, dribbling, ball handling, shooting, blocking. You work on all of those skills if you want to improve your performance. When it comes to money, it's the same thing. Depending on what step you're in, you need to develop key skills. The skill of earning money, the skill of saving money, the skill of budgeting, the skill of investing, the skill of building a business, the skill of marketing, the skill of charity, the skill of saying when to say yes and when to say no. Bawat stage, there are key skills that you should know. Now, at this point, it's very easy to think that developing money skills would take too much effort and too much time. Ay, mahira pa lang yumaman. Ay, hassle pa lang yumaman. But in fact, it's the other way around. Because as you develop skills, reaching the goal becomes easier. It becomes more effortless on your part. Here's what I mean. Several months ago, I started to jog every morning. And during the first few days, sumasakit talaga yung tuhod ko. Kahit na ba, maikli lang yung ginajog ko. So, jogging was a thing that required a lot of effort on my part because it involved physical pain. Then finally, I had enough of it. I searched online, why do my knees hurt when I jog? And I read a bunch of articles and watched a couple of videos. And I learned that apparently, I was jogging the wrong way. Paghakbang ko, yung unang tumatama sa lupa ay yung heel, yung likod na parte ng paa. Kaya pala, yung force ay dumidiretso sa buto at umaakit sa tuhod. Yun pala, dapat yung harap na parte ng paa yung tatama para yung muscle ang tatanggap ng pressure at hindi yung tuhod. So, I changed the way I was jogging and lo and behold, nawala nga yung sakit ng tuhod. I improved my form, my technique, and essentially my skill in jogging. So, jogging became so much easier. The skills in achieving financial freedom work in the same way. Kapag nahihirapan ka mag-ipon, it means you haven't developed the skill of saving yet. If nahihirapan kang hindi umutang, it means you haven't developed the skill of managing your money yet. If something is hard, that means you haven't developed certain skills yet. Now, one more thing you should know about the key skills. They have a multiplicative effect on your financial status. Ano ang multiplicative effect? Anong ibig sabihin nun? Here's an example. Let's say that your skills of earning money, saving money, and investing money can be given a rating of 0 to 5. 0 is the lowest and 5 is the highest. Now, let's say that a person has the following skill set. Earning money is 3, saving money 2 points, and investing money 1 point. So his total becomes 3 times 2 times 1 equals 6 points. But let's say he improves his investing skill by reading books and attending seminars and he moves it up by two points so from an investing skill rating of one it becomes three now his score doesn't just improve by two points the new score will be three times two times three equals eighteen his score from just six points all of a sudden became eighteen points a two point increase in investing results to a 12 point increase to the final score. This is how developing skills can impact your financial situation. It has a multiplicative effect. Now, of course, yung final score arbitrary yan. Wal walang ibig sabihin talaga yan. But in general, the higher your score is, the better your financial status. Now, in my case, I wasn't earning big money. 
but I had developed skills across the board. I had the skills of saving money, budgeting, investing, starting a business, and so on. And all of those skills contributed to financial freedom. In your case, I don't know what your skills are, but if you improve any of them, it will have a multiplicative effect to your financial life. Small skill improvements will have big results. This is why ingredient number two, developing skills, is very important. With that, let's move on to the next ingredient. Ingredient number three is have a deep understanding of the rules. What are the rules? When I say rules, this doesn't only involve how money works and what's legal and what's not and ano ang pwede, ano ang hindi. The rules also have a lot to do with what works. What are the best practices of doing things? What do successful people do? Okay? Now, also, the rules include the tools that can help you achieve your goals. Understanding the rules is very, very important because it eliminates fear and doubt. Kung ikaw ay natatakot, it's because you don't know what's legal and what's not, what works and what doesn't. But when you finally understand it, fear and doubt turn into courage. You become empowered to take action because you know every step you take is indeed a step forward. Okay, one more story from my side. In the middle part of 2013, my girlfriend and I agreed to start saving for a big event that will change our lives forever. Hindi ko nasasabihin kung anong event yun dahil, dahil ayaw ko naman pangunahan. Anyway, the target amount we would like to spend was in the seven digits. And as we were talking, I could see in her that she was worried on how we would be able to reach that amount. But because I had a good understanding of the rules of money, I knew what had to be done. I knew what steps we needed to take. So I opened up Microsoft Excel and computed for how much we needed to save each month. Then I told her the steps that we would do. Open a joint account, put a certain percentage in mutual funds, then a certain percentage would remain in cash, and away on how we would monitor it, and so on. So para sa akin, malaki rin ang seven figures. But I am not worried about it because I have a good understanding of the rules of money. And when you also understand the rules of money, your fears and your worries and your doubts will turn into confident action. In the world of money, there are many rules, how credit cards work, how interest works, how risk and return works, and so on. We can't discuss all of them in this video, but what I'd like to give you is something that I think would really change the way you save money, okay? So here is a very important rule when saving money. The rule is, every peso counts. Simply lang, di ba? But it's very powerful. If you want to save 100,000 pesos, start by saving 10 pesos. Save in small but regular amounts. So let's say you have a target to save 1,000 pesos every single month. But for some reason, there were unexpected expenses that came up. Well, nangyari naman talaga yon. Still put in money. Kahit 100 pesos lang, kahit 50 pesos lang, idagdag mo pa rin doon sa savings because that would matter and that would accumulate. No amount is too small because every peso counts. Personally, I love abusing this rule. Last year, I remember depositing 5,000 pesos in coins. Puro barya lang yun. Then this year, I deposited 3,000 pesos in coins. So any loose change, keep it all in one place. They are instant savings. Over the years, I believe lampas ng 10,000 pesos ang naipon ko just with coins. In my first job, I could only afford to set aside 200 pesos to 500 pesos per week. I put it in an envelope that I would immediately deposit in the bank without an ATM. So this habit was what enabled me to build a six-figure investment portfolio later on. If you're thinking 200 or 500 pesos is too high with your level of income, then start with 100 pesos. Start with 50 pesos. The point is, whatever the amount, it matters because every peso counts. So that's it for the third ingredient. Understand the rules. So let's take a step back now and take a look at the three ingredients again. Depending on what step you're about to take, there are always unique skills that need to be developed and the rules that must be understood. This is what you have to focus on and this is what will make financial progress possible. Focus on the goal, develop skills, 
understand the rules. These three will make the journey to financial freedom and financial abundance fulfilling and fun. With that said, let's have a recap for everything. In this video, you learned that wealth is a process, meaning it doesn't matter where you are, if you're poor, uneducated, attractive, have low self-confidence, not very charming, all of those don't matter. All that matters is you can become wealthy and achieve financial freedom. You just need to continue moving forward financially and continue to seek financial progress. And for financial progress to occur, you need three ingredients. Focus on the right goal, develop key skills, and understand the rules. With these three, you don't actually need to work as hard because you're ensuring that you're getting the most progress with every ounce of effort you exert. And that concludes our five pillars of wealth online seminar series. I truly hope that you enjoyed watching these videos as much as I enjoyed making them. Now, I just have one last message for you. Continue learning about money. This may be the end of the seminar, but it is only the starting point of your journey to financial freedom. Keep on focusing on your goals, keep on developing key skills, and keep on understanding the rules of the game. And so I want to share with you my very own premium online training seminar, and it's called The Game of Wealth. This is an online course that I personally created and developed to teach Filipinos how to win the game of wealth. Depending on where you are financially, I will show you the right goals to focus on, the key skills to develop, and the rules you have to understand in order to move to the next level until you reach financial freedom and financial abundance. Now, there are a ton of books and seminars out there about money and finance. I know because I've read and attended tons of them as well. You can continue your financial education there or simply continue it through the Game of Wealth online training program. It's really up to you. All I can say now is, if you like the past videos, then you are going to love the Game of Wealth training program. I'd really love to tell you more about the program and how you can be a part of that, but that will have to wait until the next video, which you will receive in a couple of days. So make sure you watch out for it in your email. With that, thank you again for watching. You'll receive the details of the training program exactly three days from now. Again, watch out for it in your email. In the meantime, let me know what you think of this video by leaving your comments and questions below. I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Until then, always remember, wealth is a choice. Choose to be wealthy.